Onward premiered at the 70th Berlin International Film Festival on February 21, 2020 and was released in the United States on March 6. It received generally positive reviews from critics and grossed $103.2 million worldwide. The world was full of wonder and magic. Onward is a 2020 American computer animated urban fantasy adventure film produced by Walt Disney Pictures and Pixar Animation Studios and distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. The film is directed by Dan Scanlon, produced by Corey Ray and written by Scanlon, Jason Headley, and Keith Boonin, and stars the voices of Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Octavia Spencer. Set in a suburban fantasy world, the film follows two elf brothers who set out on a quest to find an artifact that will bring back their deceased father. In a world inhabited by mythical creatures, magic was commonplace several millennia ago, though difficult to master. After technological advances over the centuries, magic became obsolete and was largely discarded. In the modern day, two elf brothers, Ian and Barley Lightfoot, the former a high schooler lacking self-confidence, and the latter a history and role-playing game fanatic, live in the city of New Mushroomton. Their father Wilden died of a severe illness shortly before Ian was born, and their mother Laurel has a new boyfriend, Centaur police officer Colt Bronco, whom Ian and Barley dislike. What are you doing? I don't know. Gross. What was dad like? His beard was scratchy, he had a goofy laugh. I wish I'd met him. I have something for you, from your dad. It's a wizard staff. I wrote this spell On Ian's so 16th birthday, Laurel gives the brothers a gift from Wilden, a magical staff, a rare phoenix gem, and a letter describing a visitation spell that can resurrect their father for a single day. Ian accidentally succeeds in casting the spell, but only the lower half of Wilden's body is reformed before the gem disintegrates. The brothers embark on a quest to acquire another phoenix gem and complete the spell, taking Barley's beloved Van Guinevere. Finding the boys gone, Laurel leaves to find them. Ian and Barley visit the Manticora's Tavern, named for a monster possessing a map to the gem. The tavern has become a family restaurant managed by the Manticora, legally named the Manticora, also known as Cory. Arguing with Ian over the map, the Manticora realizes how boring her life has become and drives the customers away in a fit of rage, accidentally setting fire to the restaurant and the map. The brothers' only clue to the gem is a children's menu suggesting Raven's Point, a nearby mountain. Laurel later arrives at the scene and befriends the Manticore, who agrees to help her. The Manticore warns that the brother's journey may awaken a curse that can only be defeated by her special sword, which she and Laurel steal from a pawn shop. Traveling to the mountains, Ian and Barley narrowly escape the police and a motorcycle gang of pixies, relying on Ian's newly awakened spellcasting abilities and Barley's role-playing game instincts. Raven's Point leads them on a trail indicated by a series of raven statues, but Cold follows them, calling in reinforcements. Barley sacrifices Guinevere to cause a landslide, blocking their pursuers. Following the statues, the brothers descend through a cave and avoid a series of traps and deadly creatures, during which Barley reveals to Ian that he was unable to emotionally bring himself to say goodbye to Wilden when he was dying in the hospital. They then run into one final obstacle, and surface to find themselves in front of Ian's high school. Ian, fed up with Barley's recklessness, lashes out at him for leading them on a wild goose chase and walks away with Wilden. Rereading his list of things he always wished to do with his father, Ian realizes that Barley has been a father figure throughout his entire life, and returns to make amends. Barley discovers the Phoenix Gem inside a historic fountain and retrieves it, unwittingly triggering the curse the Manticora spoke of, which creates an artificial golem dragon out of pieces of the school and other nearby objects, bent on claiming the gem. Ian faces the artificial dragon, but his staff is knocked into the ocean, he reforms it from a splinter and continues the fight. The Manticora flies in carrying Laurel, who plunges the magic sword into the artificial dragon's heart, buying Ian time to cast the visitation spell and fully reform Wilden's body. Ian sends Barley ahead to finally give his proper goodbye to Wilden, and holds off the artificial dragon long enough for Laurel to destroy it. After Wilden dissipates, Barley tells Ian that their father is proud of him, and the brothers share a hug.
subscribe our Cinemax channel and ring the bell icon. You can get notification about new movies and TV series. Thanks for watching.